A new lawsuit threatens to cut off $500 monthly payments to hundreds of families in St. Louis. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. St. Louis launched the Guaranteed Basic Income Pilot Program last year. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, is here with new details about a lawsuit challenging it. Mark. Dozens of cities across the country have launched pilot programs like this, testing this idea of giving a little bit of free money to families who don't make a whole lot. But here, lawyers who just defeated the city in another major fiscal case now argue the state constitution and city charter ban giving out public funds to people who didn't earn them. The Constitution of Missouri and the city of St. Louis's charter documents and ordinances prevent just giving money to somebody for no reason. Attorney Beavis Schock worked alongside the Holy Joe Society to challenge St. Louis's guaranteed basic income program. Mayor Tashara Jones' office doesn't comment on pending litigation, but last fall she promoted the idea as a way to help people living in or near poverty get by. Families that receive guaranteed basic income are able to care for their children in, in better ways. More than 5,000 families initially applied. 540 families would win that $500 monthly benefit. To qualify, they had to make less than 170% of the federal poverty line and have children enrolled in city public or charter schools. That violates the First Amendment freedom of religion. Um, in other words, you can't say because you're religious, you can't have a government money. Shock says they won't need to make that argument in court, just highlight the prohibition on giving public funds to private citizens who didn't earn it. These are federal funds that came with federal rules, and the federal rules do allow this. If So that's a great question. So if the city is doing it, and it's against the city's own charter and against the constitution of the state, can it still be done? I don't think it can. I think the program is awesome. That's Ann Smith, a single mother of three, who told Five on Your Side last fall she was hoping to qualify. I would love to apply for it because I'm new to the area and I need all the support that I can get. You're an individual. You have responsibility for yourself and your children. The government's not responsible for any individual and their children. Each person is responsible for him or herself. Shock said he's not pushing to try and claw back any of those funds that have already been doled out over these last six or seven months. He is asking a judge to stop sending those payments going forward. The city has until next Friday to respond in court.